grow in relationship with you. It is in Christ's name that I pray. Amen. And now I give you the elevator. Ding, come on in. Which room? You got it. Going up. Ding, come on in. Hey. All right. Going up. Come on in. A core. Going on up. Come on in. Yep. Going up. All right, all right, stop, stop. Can we just agree on one song? All right, I got one. It's called Lighthouse. All right, let's sing it. All right? One, two, ready, go. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I would trust. Uh, <laughs> my light. <laughs> Straight to shore. Straight to shore. See, that was a lot better, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, today really is for the youth and for the grads, so I'm going to keep it short. That's difficult for me, but I'm going to try to. Um, I really just want to focus on one little piece from our verse that we had today from our gospel reading. This is my commandment. Love each other. It's pretty simple. It can be difficult, but it's pretty simple. It's not a complex commandment, right? Just love each other. This skit made me think of the some of the discord, some of the shouting back and forth that we see out in the world. We see it on social media. We see it in person. We see it in the news. Just yelling at each other, not even really accomplishing anything. Not love. We here within these walls are called to love each other. Commanded to love each other. We see evidence of it in our other verse that we read too. Peter does that. Doesn't just love the Jews, but shares with everyone, Gentile alike. Love each other. Doesn't mean that we will always agree with everybody here. We can certainly have disagreements. There are issues facing the church, just as there were for Peter. Just as there were, has been throughout history, we've had different things that we've had to deal with within a church. But we can love each other still. If we can't figure out here how to have discussions and disagreements out of love, how would we ever expect that to happen out there? If not here, then where? Love each other. That's our simple task. Figure out how to love each other. When somebody comes into this building for the first time, when they come and join us for worship, they should leave knowing that. Man, those people at Susanna Wesley, they love each other. I can feel it when I'm there. They are truly friends with each other. Christ calls us his friends now. Love each other. We know that in the end, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord, right? We've read the end. We know how the story ends. Until then, we have a task to do. And that task has to start right here 
with each of us in this faith community, learning how to love each other. My challenge for you this next week is to get in touch with somebody that maybe you don't usually talk to from our faith community. In person, email, Facebook, I don't care, but just reach out to someone. Let's figure out how to make this place friendlier. Let's figure out how to be an example of what it means to love each other. Love each other. Amen.